So as far as I can tell with this game, and I may be mistaken, um, it seems like they are adding things. It seems that they are expanding things. But it doesn't seem that they are removing things. And now that may not be the case, but... Um, so the train graveyard feels extremely out of place, both pacing-wise and how it fits into the world and the story. Um, but it was in the original, and I guess people like it. I swear the original theme that plays there is what I call the beginning flute song with my sister. Um, this is the only association I have with the, I, the train graveyard. I knew that was a thing because it had the song that it played there. Um, but... <sighs> When you have a story that is in a format or a genre that's like very like removed and highly stylized, so for example, Super Nintendo games or even PlayStation 1 games, um, a lot of times, uh, <clears throat> a lot of times you can get away with things that you wouldn't be able to if something were meant to be more realistic. Um, so this is part of why in my, like, novelization of Final Fantasy VI, I took Ultra Set, because even though Final Fantasy VI is, like, a super serious game, um, because it's, like, this kind of colorful, cartoony, sprite-based thing, they can have a purple octopus show up, <clears throat> and the tonal shift is somewhat less jarring. But when you write something super, like, serious and self-contained that's supposed to feel like a plausible consistent story having a purple octopus come into the middle of a, of a realistic and grounded human experience story it doesn't really work um so i feel like <clears throat> there was a lot more room back then to just be like what if we just did this thing yeah yeah that thing's happening all right all right we made this cool location now find a way to work it into the story which for things that aren't like JRPGs necessarily. That is actually how some games at least were made is that like <coughs> the design team would be like, hey, we came up with this really cool area. Um, and so that's why for things like some of the older Tomb Raider games, like they feel very strung together because it was like a bunch of cool ideas they had that they kind of tied together. Oh, Dan Clam, thank you. Oh, you're the one who had the connection between Oats and the Crisis Core Kid. I, I mentioned that actually on stream at some point. Um, because I really liked that. Um, but yeah, so the, the, um, the mini games, because, okay, so I don't remember Seven very well, but I remember there was, I think there was a submarine mini game that, I don't know if it was Battleship or what, my sister really hated it, so I think she made me play it, which I think is why I remember it. Um, but so you could do this sort of thing all over the place in a way that you wouldn't necessarily be able to do in something more real. Um... And so, this game, <clears throat> in its original form, was from an era where you could just kind of do whatever. Um, so they have this, like, kind of creepy train graveyard where they're like, well, there's trains in our story. Wouldn't it be interesting if we did this? Um, it would look cool. Might sound cool. Um, in a more coherent, cohesive world, like Final Fantasy VII Remake has... Um, you have to consider how a, an area or a level fits into the broader scope of the world. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and we're not even talking about the pacing issue. Um, thank you, Dan Clam. Oh, that's so nice. We've got Final Fantasy X viewers here. That was, honestly, I was looking forward to playing and streaming Final Fantasy VII Remake because I wanted it to be the same kind of experience for me that Final Fantasy X was on stream. And so far, it's actually done a really good job being that um but um so some of the things that are challenging here <clears throat> the idea of a train graveyard is probably thematically relevant in some way to what they're doing because um the the hand level uh the hand dungeon was like smack you in the face with like a theme um, so they're not above being self-aware about their themes, and so I kind of wonder if there's something that they're doing that will make more sense as we continue the game playing through here. Uh, the actual, like, section outside I found frustrating, partly because I couldn't figure out what I was supposed to do, which is probably on me. Um, but also, like, we gotta, like, 
use these trams trains to like ram a clear path so that we can get through um it's it's just it's weird it feels really weird but also um let's talk about what this section does right um because i can criticize the pacing which really like the pacing for me comes down to um you have this oh no reveal with don corneo um and and shinra um, and then you're immediately like dropped into a terrible situation, feeling powerless, not knowing what you can't even see what's happening because you're underground. Um, and it, it ramps up the tension. You get some character development um, and it's, it's, it's a bit frustrating. But at that point, it's kind of like they're trying to delay and build up the tension. And then as you get to the end of the sewer section, they amp up the tension dramatically with the, the fights and the situation with the characters so that it kind of picks the stress level back up again. So then I would assume, because I didn't know the train graveyard was coming, I assumed that what they'd done is they'd, they'd given us the tension um, and then dropped us out of that situation so that you had that in the back of your mind the whole time and the characters kept mentioning it to kind of keep it fresh. Um, they kind of give you a little bit of a, of a break from it. Um, so, so this is what the subject of comic relief is that if you have something that relieves you between these really intense feelings, you feel the intense feelings more intensely. So if something is like hard and scary or sad, and then you like have like comedy or fun or something that kind of takes that away, then when they drop the truck back on your head, it, you feel the full force of it. Um, so they kind of like give you that relief for part of the sewer section where it's not as intense. Um, and then they start ramping it back up at the end as you're about to emerge. And I'm like, okay, um, they're emotionally getting us ready for the fact that we're going to have this big thing. Um, and then suddenly train graveyard, which is a second, a second thing. And they just had that thing. And I was like, why are they doing this? Oh, I forgot to close my door. Hold on. I don't want to annoy my roommate by yammering too loud. Um, but so it's, it's a bit frustrating because they did such a good job with the tension there. Um, but things that they did well with the train graveyard section, um, as far as I can tell, the reason why they expanded it is because they really clearly, they recognize that the strength of this game is developing the characters and having the relationships between the characters. Um, and that's something that I think they did beautifully in the sewers. They set up so well the characters um, getting to know each other, interacting. You see the girls interacting a lot separate from Cloud, so kind of developing individual relationships with them more and kind of beginning to get a sense for how perhaps the relationship between Tifa and Cloud might evolve. Um, because as I've mentioned before, I feel like Tifa isn't quite sure what to do with Cloud. She knows that he's traumatized. She knows that he's not well, but she's not really sure what she could do about it. And she's kind of scared to make things worse. Um, and, uh, and so they, they've, they've kind of, they did a really nice job of, of reintroducing her and building up these relationships that I feel are going to be really important um, for the emotional beats of the game from now on, especially because if they do drop which looks like they're gonna do um in order for that for in order for us to feel that we have to be invested in all these characters so they remind us that we care about these characters but also because that's going to be such an emotionally painful experience for these characters it will mean more if they know each other so they can mourn together they can support each other they can bond over that as opposed to being virtual strangers tossed into a difficult situation and then emotionally reacting. Um, Cause you can do something interesting with that where you're like, these people are forced into this situation and they're grieving while also not knowing each other. You can do that if you choose to, um, but that's not the kind of story that they want to tell, I don't think. So, so they do a good job. They do a good job with that, I think, um, with, with focusing on developing those characters. Um, I also think that there's, and this is something that they maybe they, that may be a strength or a, or a problem with this game, depending on what they wind up doing with things later on, is the concept of undeath, um, the concept of life after death. Um, the the 
the train graveyard. I keep trying to call it the Phantom Train. Wrong Final Fantasy, Lauren. Um, sorry, I hope you don't mind. I'm just like monologuing this. I know some of you are commenting, but I'm just monologuing my thoughts here. Um, and I realize I'm really, really long winded on this game. Please forgive me. Um, but uh, having having something happen after death is an interesting thing to dig into. So I don't remember if this game has told me or if it's something that's still lingering in my brain or if it's in some other game, but I'm pretty sure that souls die and join the life stream, which is the like everythingness of the world, the collective spirit of the world or something like that. Um, oh no. Did the stream go down? Okay, hold on. All right. Third time's the charm. So if you have the live stream and the idea that when we, you know, when we defeat enemies and you see them turn into like fireflies from Final Fantasy X, um, then, uh, then they like go to the live stream or whatever. Then having ghosts is a really confusing thing because are the ghosts in conflict with um like are we are we is this like the unsense are we preventing these souls from being like returning to the live stream like is this is this a thing that uh that is part of that do we just have ghosts because ghosts are cool and interesting and that's separate you know is the creature that was taking the souls of these children um, like, is this, like, how does that work? Who are these children? What does it mean for their souls to be taken? I don't know. I don't know. And it bothers me. And I don't know if I will know, like, um, with a game like this in which the world kind of all connects, um, where like the, the, the there's, there's, there's consistency in the world building and the storytelling. I want the game to have these answers for me. Um, and it may be that I don't have the answers just yet. Um, but like, you know, who are these children? Why are they dead? How did this creature catch them? Um, what does it mean for them to be caught? Are they gone for good now? Um, like, do other souls get stuck and not be able to move? And how do the souls relate to the... Uh, the the sand wraiths that we keep encountering um clearly uh Aerith is comfortable recognizing and talking to ghosts um which kind of makes me wonder if she's talked to ghosts before because she seems whereas tifa is understandably afraid of ghosts um uh Aerith is friendly and comfortable she's 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 actively comfortable with them, um, which makes me feel that she's seen them before and she knows what's happening. Um, maybe she has like a little Yuna experience there. Um, but so things being mysteries within the context of the game, it's fine if it feels inherently internally consistent and or it doesn't connect to any of the like larger world building of the game. Um, but if life and death and what it means to be alive and what it means to die is touched upon in this game, then that is a really relevant question. Um, you know, and then I want to know what happened here? Who, again, who are these children? Um, I love that we see moments that matter to our characters, that we see Tifa reliving this moment with Marlene, and I'm not sure why, except to remind us that Marlene is presumably about to die. <coughs> um, but uh, I'm interested with Aerith, she sees being like left behind by the other children and you kind of wonder has she always been like the weird kid and so when she was a kid she was kind of an outcast and now that she's not a kid anymore she's beloved um 
I don't know. And I, again, like, I don't know if this is something that is you have to piece together with the lore or if it's just you're supposed to be like, oh, I went to the train place and then I fought some ghosts. It's cute. Um, they were ghosts. They played games. It was silly. Then we saved them. Um, because uh, freeing trapped souls from the evil ghost-like creature is a trope. It's a, it's a staple. We've seen this before. Um, but in a game like this, I want it to mean something. I want it to be tied to the world. I want it to have significance and consequences. So, we'll see. Um, other things... I am so mad at Sung right now. Some people expressed um, that they didn't know why I'm mad at him or what the context is because they haven't played Crisis Core. So can we revisit one of my favorite moments in all of Crisis Core, um, which is like the Turks, um, like so Sung is assigned to watch Aerith because she's not human. I don't remember if she's an alien or not. <laughs> um, but uh, she he's assigned to watch her because of for the same reason that the Turks in this game are watching her. Like she just gets Turks. They just hang out. There has a bad case of the Turks. Um, and, and Zach at this point, like Zach and Aerith are kind of a thing. They've gone on dates. They're very adorable. Um, and at some point, Zach is going to go on a mission and he's like, hey, son, could you keep an eye on Aerith and make sure she's OK while I'm gone? And Sung is like, dude, it's literally my job to watch her. Like, Shinra pays me to watch her. And like, Zach basically claps him on the back and is like, thanks, bro. I knew I could count on you. You're such a good friend. Uh, I'll see you later. Because he's like, oh, he said he would keep an eye and make sure my girlfriend's safe. Great. And you're like, Zach, honey. <laughs> Zach, honey. Um, and, uh, and so you see... Uh, you see Zach aggressively friendship at everyone in the game. Um, and so there's a there's a, a female Turk named Cisne who's right around the five on our scale. Um, uh, and so Cisne, fairly early on, befriends Zach. She's kind of like, oh my god, what is this guy's problem? But also he's just such a sweetheart. So she likes him, like gets along with him. Uh, but Sung is very like... I'm a, I'm a professional man. I'm a professional person here. Like I got to do my job. Um, and so then at the end, when the order goes out to apprehend and kill Zach and Cloud when they're on the run, um, the Turks are told to track down Zach and Cisne wants to help him. And she's like, what do I do? What do I do? So she gets on the helicopter with Sung and they're going to go and and, and I, I apologize. I, I know I'm not saying his name consistently and I know I'm not saying it well. I'm going to keep trying my best. Um, but, uh, but there's a moment when like you've got the entire army after Zach and like he's like hurting from Mako poisoning and Cloud is like catatonic. Um, and Sung and Cisne get on the helicopter together and Sung is like, we've got to, you know, we got to find Zack. And Cisne's like, yeah, yes, yes, absolutely. We have to find him to apprehend him. And, 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 and there's this moment where Sung says, no, we have to rescue him. And you just see the look on her face where she's like, oh, because she's been, she has been on Zack's side for a little while, but you don't realize that Sung is, you don't realize that he considers Zack a friend. And he's always been so professional and so like, this is my job that to have this absolute breach of a direct order because he doesn't want his friend to die just gave me chills. And in the end, sorry, Crisis Core spoilers, but we are playing the sequel. So I'm assuming you've either played it or you're familiar with it or you don't mind being spoiled. Um, but in the end, it's uh, it's actually the weather that prevents them. Like there, there's like a sandstorm or something, some sort of storm going on. So they can't see in their helicopter. Um, as they're trying to find find these two. And so they're not able, but you think you have this great moment where you you know if you're at all familiar with this game and you look at also the way you look at the way you're going, you're like, they're gonna die. And you're like, maybe they're not gonna die. Maybe the Turks are gonna get them out. Maybe Zach's gonna survive. That's not actually how it happens. But uh, but you want you want it to. You have that hope, even though you know that hope is impossible. It's just brilliant, so good, such good writing. Um, 
But so for me, that was one of the most powerful moments in that game, was realizing that through the purity and strength of Zack's friendship, Sung, the ultimate business person, the ultimate professional, disobeys a direct order. He is told, find this man and kill him. And he instead is going to find this man and save him and we'll figure out what to do from there afterwards. We'll, we'll figure it out. Um, and, and I loved that moment because it was in some ways the culmination of who Zack is as a person. Um, so if you aren't familiar with Crisis Core and you're playing this game and Sung is just like a name that you see giving this order, it doesn't mean anything um, necessarily, but for me, and I really appreciate it because I was kind of in shock about what was happening, so I missed that that was the name that was speaking. So I appreciate the chat was like, Lauren, did, did you see that was sung? Um, and, uh, and so it being him who is giving this order, who is holding to this order, that he was willing to disobey Shinra for Zack, but he's not for an entire sector of the plate and the people living on and below it. And, you know, maybe, maybe he, what he took away. And, and I don't know, because I don't know if we're going to get to know him better in this game or not. Um, but like, maybe he was like, yeah, see, there is no point in hoping. There is no point in, in, in trying to do something different. The, the company is going to win no matter what. The company is always going to win. There's no there's no point. Just, you just have to go along. It's the only way you can make it. Like, maybe that's what he took away from it. I don't know. Like, I can understand. But I can also be mad at him. <laughs> so I'm simultaneously like, it does make a lot of sense. There are a lot of different ways that his character and personality could con be consistent with him taking this action. But I can still be offended and mad and want to yell at him. And I will yell at him. Um... So I've talked for like half an hour. Before we do this, do you wanna do you wanna sneak preview of something that's a complete tonal shift but also relevant? <laughs> do you wanna hear something really dumb? Okay. This is a sneak preview and I may or may not create this and share more of it later. Um but uh alright. So I have started a document with strictly this background information. There are no other words on it, but it is a lot of background information. The title is The Squats King of Shinra High. <laughs> so the, the, the description of the creation of this thing. I have frequently described Zack Fair as a shonen anime hero who doesn't realize he's in a cyberpunk dystopia due to his optimism and his tendency to win over everyone around him through the power of friendship as we've just discussed. I'm also in the process of playing Final Fantasy VII Remake for the first time, right here. You folks are here with me. And I am experiencing it as Crisis Core 2. And when I met Jules in Wall Market, this incredibly stupid idea popped into my head and would not let go. So here we are. Crisis Core slash Final Fantasy VII Remake, the sports anime. Enjoy. I've been watching Haikyuu with my roommate, um, and it turns out that I really love sports animes, which I've always known that I have, but I've been really getting into it. So here is the the description of it leading into it. This is your like back of the book text. The rest of the fencing club has graduated and gone off to university, leaving Zack adrift without a place to pour his boundless enthusiasm or energy, or more importantly, a group of friends, a core group of friends to call family. Moving from the country to a big city is a culture shock, but Shinra High is big enough that Cloud can hope he'll be invisible here and maybe learn to be strong so that what happened back home never happens again. Enter Jules's after-school workout club and the fabled Squats King contest at the end of the semester. Don't worry, the title of Squats King isn't gender restricted. Bonus points. Have you ever wanted to see the Turks as high school students? Now is your chance. It's going to be really dumb. It's going to be really fun. I have no idea what I'm doing, and that's okay. <laughs> so yeah, um, Soldier was the fencing club, um, and, and Sephiroth and Angel have graduated, and Zack doesn't know what to do because now there's no fencing club, so he has to do something. And Jules has his club. Um, 
I've never written a high school AU before. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. It's probably going to be American style high school, but weird because I don't fully understand Japanese high school. Um, yeah, you'll notice Genesis wasn't on that list. <laughs> I don't know what the Turks are going to be at. I haven't figured it out. But Tifa is going to have to do some, uh, do some, some non-combative athletic activity due to an injury. So she winds up joining the Squats King Club too. <laughs> I don't know exactly how Earth's going to come in, but I've already got like Cloud's tragic backstory and everything in my head. Um, <laughs> because I was like, oh, it's going to be big, dumb fun. And then I was like, actually, no, all the stuff that's really sad and stuff is in my head. Okay, well, <laughs> there will be melodrama and tragedy, but also it's going to be, yeah, Cloud is a transfer student from a small town coming to the big city. <laughs> Anyway, look forward to that. I will be sharing more when I finally have a chance to write it. Um, I don't know how much or how little I will actually write, but we'll see. Uh, I'll put it on my AO3 account um, and let everybody know and probably read bits and pieces of it on stream. But... <laughs> Total... Total tonal shift, shall we? Oh yeah, Johnny will absolutely be in it. I just, I couldn't get to every character in that. That's just like the main characters at the moment are anticipated to be Zack and Cloud, but there'll be other perspective characters. We'll see what happens. I don't know. I don't plan things in advance. I just kind of write and it comes together. So I want to finish a chapter, the next chapter of my Final Fantasy VI fanfic, and then I'm going to dive into this. So maybe this weekend for my birthday, which by the way, tomorrow is my birthday. <laughs> we will probably not be streaming tomorrow because I have to work, but we might do some streaming on Saturday. So watch this channel. Um, <coughs> thank you. Maybe for my birthday, I'll write really dumb high school AU fanfic. It's going to be great. Um, yeah. So we've got, um, I'm smiling. I'm feeling fine. Everything's great. Everything's good. Everything's gonna be fine. Everyone's gonna turn out great. The story is gonna go well for everybody. I'm, I just, I feel it. <sighs> I don't know, Inky. I have to figure out because we also have to pull Crisis Core's into it. Crisis Core characters in it too. Hi, Egg with Feelings. Well, welcome. Lurk away. Um. But yes, stay tuned, and I will let you know when the Squats King of Shinra High is ready to be read. <laughs> I think that's a great name. I feel like that name tells you exactly what you're getting into, don't you? <laughs> no, I can't actually drop a bus on anyone because I'm not actually as evil as the people who write this game actually know. That's a lie. I totally would have dropped the plate earlier. I was going to drop the plate earlier. If I were writing the story, I would have dropped the plate earlier. Um, which is bad. Don't be like me or the writers of Final Fantasy VII Remake. Be good and loving. <laughs> and don't do horrible things to the fictional characters under your control. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, I know that that's a real tonal shift um, and that we're going to uh, go into probably a really brutal section of the game. Maybe I should have waited and read that silliness if we needed some silliness. No, I haven't watched Princess Tutu, but I do have a friend who likes it and she talked about it. Um, but yeah, no, I really like sports anime. I don't like sports, but I like sports anime. And even if it's not about a sport, but it fits sports animal, like if it's like sports anime, but cooking, yes. So we're going to lean into that. Um, anyway, let's get back into the game, the actual game, instead of the dumb things Lauren writes. Um, so things aren't so good here. If we take a look... Yeah, there's a tiny bit of Final Fantasy VII slash Crisis Core fanfic up there already. Thanks, Grino. But this one's gonna be dumb. 
and that's part of the fun. Actually, it was probably going to wind up being really serious, at least part of it, because... <laughs> um, but yeah, so back to the actual game, which has exactly zero shown in anime -ness in it. This right here that we're seeing happen is um, the city guard fighting with the Turks, trying to prevent them from doing this. So I don't know how they know that this is going to happen, or if it's just that they can tell that the Turks are here and the Turks are no good. That's kind of what I'm counting on, Blue Glass. And yeah, I know there will be serious moments in it. But, uh, probably not as serious as what's gonna happen. Hold on. Tonal inappropriateness. Ah! So let's take a moment to think about who... That's where I'm going. Wait! I know where I am! They totally told me! We made it! They totally told me about the, the train graveyard being behind her. I've been on the other side of this fence. I know where I am. Because I know these people and I know this place. Just climb the, climb the wall, climb the wall, climb the wall. Climb, climb it, climb it, climb it. Climb it, Tifa. Come on. Oh, this isn't good. We're getting a cutscene. This is not good. No, but like, I know this place. A typical assignment such as scouting for soldier recruits, escorting important individuals, spy work, and assassination. Those are very different. Uh, no, 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 no. That, that is Sung, a knack for managing his eccentric subordinates. <sighs> I'm glad I clicked over to that. I don't know what else I didn't click over to. Missed. Okay, so it is Avalanche. But I'm pretty sure. Attention, Avalanche! You are surrounded. Stand down and surrender to public security immediately. Is this the other Avalanche? Not just our Avalanche? Shinra does not negotiate with terrorists. Resist and we will use lethal force! I repeat, Shinra does not negotiate with terrorists! Resist and we will use lethal uh, force! Got your lethal force right here, asshole! I mean, yeah. Sorry, I'm not looking at chat right now. Drop the weapon now! Yeah, that's definitely more guys than we have. Calling them fascists is actually an interesting choice. I mean, it's not wrong. But I, I don't know that they would have said that when this game first came out. Dropping a whole plate. Just like that. No. No way. That's the spirit, Tifa. Tifa! She's running kind of wildly. Did you see that? God, this music is good. I know this place. I know this place. I didn't realize how well I knew the areas in this game until I, until we came to the train station. I was like, oh, I've been on the other side of that a number of times and tried to get in here. What are they doing here? What are they? The last time they were here, what are they you? were trying to guide us. I like that he's talking to it. I like that. Cloud, Tifa, we have to get past whatever it takes. 
This feels like the planet is trying to stop us from doing this again. Goodness, this is not the most effective thing. Flood, that doesn't sound good. Oh, I have ability. Oh no, my battery is low. Okay, well, I'll have to get my battery. It's vulnerable? Where is it vulnerable? You're vulnerable? Mysterious Spectre, not to be confused with. Calling lightning. All set. Gotcha. This music is really good. I'll show you what I can do. The enigmatic Spectre is different. Okay, I've defeated a bunch of these. Okay. You mean? Maybe this will Huh, okay, I fought these before. This one's for you. Why don't you lead the way? Oh, Cloud's having some trouble. Let me Abilities. Star shower? I mean, that seemed effective. Wait, is it getting its health back? I think it's gaining its health. Yeah, it totally is. It's gaining health back. What a jerk. It's trying to prevent me from getting there. What was the deal again? Think you're going? Just been interrupted. Bring it. Mean. Huh, and cat. Tagging out. Oh, oh, these guys are still here. Okay. All right. I thought that there weren't any more other enemies, but I was apparently wrong. Okay. More. Okay, star shower. This is what star shower is for. Ready or not, here I come. Abilities. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. I'm really excited about that. That was very satisfying. Big old jerk. Okay, so it keeps summoning more. Go on, Tifa. No. No. Where is it? Why is it not? Did I take too long? There's too many. Where are 
they going? They just delayed us just long enough to keep us from dying. Up there. Aerith? Come on. I know this place. I know this place so well. They like... They make you go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. So you know this area. You know? Get out of here. Get out of here, everyone. Get out of here. What you got? Come on! <gasps> That's Barrett. Get everyone out of the city. Get them out. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. Okay, he's okay. He's okay. He's okay. You okay? Cloud. It's Shenra. They're trying to take out the pillar. I know. I have to go back. Barrett and the others are still. Stop. How can anyone say Stay that? With How can up. anyone say that Cloud doesn't care? I'm going to. I can still fight. Big uh, 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 heat. They were shooting at me in heat. Wedge, please let Cloud handle it. Don't worry, I'll patch him up. Get everyone away. Hang on, guys. Help is coming. What are these? What are they doing? Wedge, listen to me. You stay here with them. He doesn't want anything happening to his friends. About time you showed up, Mark. I'm trying to remember what Tifa said that she went to Don Corneo for. Before you steal the show. Is he gonna sacrifice himself? He's gonna sacrifice himself. Okay, I'm not even gonna look at chat for a while. Sorry, folks. We're we're taking a we're taking the this entire section is a is a is a boss fight approach. Okay. This music is so good. So good. I think I'm good. I don't think I need anything more here. We'll find out. God, this music is good. <sighs> this is gonna be like another sing in the helicopter moment, isn't it? You're like, oh, I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna save them. It's gonna be all right, you know. Wedge. Oh, for the love of it. I'm getting sick of this. Don't they have anything better to do? Tell me about it. See how hard we got hit over here? Shit. What's wrong with these people? Hope they stay quiet down here. Let's do it. This is Echo 1 3. L2 is 1. I repeat this is Echo God damn it. No signal. They're 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 setting up to kill their own people too. This is Echo One. Oh, I wanted to hear what the situation was up there, sorry. Oh I forgot to put uh That's okay. Abilities triple sash there's triple sash. I love the guy's just like swearing at you. No, you won't. Oh, sentry gun, huh? Oh, that's not good. Let's get behind it. Okay. 
We managed to make it through that, okay. Oh, shoot! Okay, don't let me forget that they can do that. <laughs> Oops. God, the music is so good. I'm totally... Don't think you're gonna get away with this! Oh, I think I'm gonna get away with this. mad because I killed his friend. I'm ready whenever. Are you? Enough. I do really like that they gave people voices. So it's one thing that's interesting for me in Final Fantasy XIV that they started doing in Heaven's Word is that in encounters sometimes uh, there will be like voices and people talking which adds a lot it adds a lot to immersion and the effectiveness of the storytelling keep away no i'm not we're are we, are we playing keep away mister ah. nothing to it thanks cloud but you're the only one here to hear you sauce nobody else is around for your sauce Where are we supposed to go? I should let me let me check out my build. Actually, is that the? I think that's the right term. Oh, hold on, hold on. Map. Okay, so I can go around in a circle here. Let's see if there's anything going on here. Yeah. I don't know what that is. Give me a break. What? Oh my god, are you serious? Jeez. Oh yeah, see, I'm gonna have to get my, um, get some of my materia from the girls. Do I have lightning on my sword? Is that a thing I can do? Do I have a lightning on my sword? I thought that only, like, a few things could have. Links. How do I have a lightning sword? Let's finish this. How do I have a lightning sword? Oh, right, they're gonna blow up. Don't get blown up by them, Lauren. How do I do sword? Did I do that? Okay, get away from it, Lauren. Oh, what? This, you're so, I thought I thought I killed it. I didn't kill it. That it? Okay. Okay, hold on. Okay, wrong button. Oh, look at look at my health. Do you see it? <laughs> Anyone here who is younger than me <laughs> will be like, what is she talking about? But everyone who is a nerd in my generation of young nerds, let it be known, Cloud is elite dude. Amazing. I almost don't want to wreck that, you know? I almost don't want to mess with it. I feel like I should say something funny here, but I can't think of anything funny except, like, here we go. But it would definitely be dude, like, spelled like the Prinny's spelling of dude, but with, uh, with zeros. You know? Okay, hold on. No, I was gonna. No? Okay, whatever. Uh, okay. Materia and equipment. All right. What are you equipped with, buddy? Uh, 
What do the power of wrist guards do? What do they do? Increase strength. Do I have anything better? Vitality, spirit. Why am I not wearing that right now? Excuse me. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, hold on. Is this the sword that I want or do I want a different sword? We're not going to actually be doing the baseball bat. This is really good. Uh, as much as it would be satisfying to use the buster sword. Do I want the buster? Like it would be, it would be very satisfying to use the buster sword to try to defend people. That would be what Zach would do. So we're just, I'm sorry. That's what we're doing. <laughs> Does it make the most sense for the gameplay? I don't know. Am I doing it anyway? You bet. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. Okay, I don't remember that I did that, but I did that. Okay, wait, wait, I've got one more materia that I can put. Revival, I don't need that because I'm doing this solo right now. Uh, fire. Ah, no, I want that. Yes, sorry, Aerith, I'm stealing. Um, I've got fire, lightning, yeah. I put a cess on, which is I should honestly have a cess on anyway. Uh, health up, health up, magic up, mup up, mup up, up, mup up, mup up, mup up, mup up, mup up, mup up. Actually, hmm. Hmm. Sorry, Aerith. But if I'm going to be doing this solo, I'm probably going to want to have health. We're rolling with this. Can I just like take down their helicopter? Can I just like smash the copter? Sorry, Turks. No hard feelings. And by that I mean absolutely hard feelings. Where am I supposed to go? Up the stairs. We're gonna go up the stairs. Okay. Sorry, I just have to alleviate the tension a little bit. Jesus, look at that. You know, you see it. You see it. Oh, never mind. Oh! 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 Did you see that? Did you see I, I, that? I was like, oh no, am I not supposed to go up here? Because they blocked it. Don't you dare. Don't. You. Dare. What are you? Biggs. What were they doing? You made it. No, I might not. Hey, is Wedge? Don't worry, he'll bounce back. That's good to hear. Could have used some extra padding myself. <laughs> Don't talk. It's pretty bad up there. Cloud, promise me, don't let it be for nothing. Hmm. I won't. <laughs> You're a good man. Giving me that... An orphanage. I know. In the sector five slums. The kids, they're great. I used to visit. 
<coughs> that you'll have to do yourself. <laughs> Let me guess. I'm not a fan of kids. That's not what it is, but thanks. No. But you have <laughs> so much in common. Good luck, Cloud. Our future is in your hands. <laughs> oh, he's gonna. No, the, now's not the time, honey. Now's not the time. Okay. He looked for a moment like he might have a flashback there. I, I, I could see this being a little re-traumatizing. taking his hand it was a good moment although again I reiterate I don't know how anyone thinks that Cloud doesn't care I like that the last thing he thinks of is the orphanage and Cloud tries to tell him that it'll be okay Cloud doesn't know how to comfort a dying man but he tries. <laughs> hey. I used to be one of you. Hey. Okay, what the heck even is this? What even are you? That's how I'm feeling. Run, 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 get away, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. Cannot die here. I won't give up. Starts off being cool. You're mine. Going in. Now you're in for it. But by now, it's not a victorious. To, I'll, I'm gonna talk around a scene in Suikoden 2, so if you've played this game, don't like play. If you if you have played that game, don't say what it is. But after a after a, a, a main character death um, in Suikoden 2, I immediately went out to and like the first random encounter I had, I just like unleashed like the biggest spell that I had because I was so upset. And these guys are placed here, and they're hard. And maybe they're the ones who took him out. Or maybe not. 
but you feel like you're like trying not to let people down with Cloud. Unless you're getting. God. It's just a bloodbath. Not that Shinra cares. They've got more where that came from. This guy's bad news. Okay, well, fine. Oh, these guys do so much damage. Allow me. Okay, I fought a whole bunch of them. Fighting's particularly fierce. Okay. Jeez! I should probably heal, actually. to assess that guy. See if he's got fellow trooper. I got your number. Evading their powerful aerial attacks. Okay. Also, the way they talk because of the, the sound like they make me think of Psycho Mantis. God, I'm sorry, but they're like almost comedic looking. indeed. Did you hear that grenade go off behind me? Somebody tried to heal this guy. Too bad. I'm going to do this to you. Because that's what it's for. <laughs> that's That was pretty satisfying. I'm not going to lie. I'm sorry, <laughs> but that makes me think of a dead. Uh, Mega Man X. Oh, jeez. Okay, let's not die here. Let's try that again. God, I love his voice acting. It's a little bit, a little bit hoarse, like a little bit rough. You're done. <laughs> Oh, I keep forgetting that I have a Sephiroth mode. See that? Did the children go back? Did we see the children go back? Jeez. That. Did we see the children's spirits do that? When we played... Can we play through that area? Let's use a ether. They really make you feel it. We're gonna get there in almost enough time, but not enough time. I just know it. Health violations, safety violations, right and left. If they don't care. Shinra doesn't care, they'll just get more people. I mean, we are getting close to the helicopter. Do you remember the last time there was a Turks helicopter after us, Cloud? Testing. Testing. Comic relief. Attention, Avalanche Skull. We know all about your evil plans to destroy the pillar, but the Turks, uh, but Shinra, that's us, won't let you get away with it. So go crawl back into whatever hole you crawled out of, or something. You know, it's not very good at this. They should have let Rude do that it. That ought to do it, right? 
Why didn't play let Rude do it? He'd be better. I guess he doesn't care. Wait, I know you. Yeah, you do. Mr. First Class. <laughs> God, how old is he? Like, 16? Good put down right now. Very clever. How long did it take you to think of that one? If you stop them, maybe you can stop them from doing this. Send that helicopter down. Throw down your weapon and surrender. Shinra does not negotiate with terrorists. Propaganda. I don't know if they did that in the original so clearly. Man, screw this cheap ass play. one uh, uh, hey if he makes it through uh, at least one of them will how is it uh, much better thanks is this the support pillar I'm sorry I can't stay here I have to help them get everyone out of here Tifa go follow your heart <gasps> Aerith there's a bar in the center of town, Seventh Heaven. I need you to get Marlene to safety, right? It's okay. I'll find her. Huh? How did she know that? Can you take her to the bar for me, Wedge? Consider it done. Now get up there and kick Shinra's ass. Come on. Seventh heaven is this way. Wedge, wait. You guys can't stay here. I'm playing as her? Come on, come on. We don't have time to waste. They let us through. How else are we supposed to get to Wall Market? Sir, we uh, need to step away from the uh, gate. You have to open the gate. If you don't let these people through. Back off. Don't, don't you dare, 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 don't you dare. I'm no good. Not to anyone up there or down here. Don't you dare, uh -huh. Wedge, don't you dare, don't you dare, no. That's not true, Wedge. Don't give up hope yet. We could still save a lot of lives. Are they gonna make me have to find everyone? You don't think we're gonna stop them from dropping the plate, do you? I want to believe that we can still win somehow. But something in my gut tells me we're due for a reckoning. Just this feeling. You know what I mean? Yeah, I do. But that's no excuse to give up. I don't want to look back one day and wish I'd done it different. Right here, right now. I need to know I did everything I could. What are we gonna do? Oh, it's the I'm not sure what's it's gonna little happen. Little adorable next, guy. But I am sure I don't want to regret the choices I make tonight. I know that guy. Our lives are in your hands. If you don't open up, we're all gonna die! <clears throat> That's the older guy. Yeah, yeah. I remember that guy. Close it! No, sir! I will not obey that order! 
this way, everyone! Quickly! Quickly! You can't just... Uh, wait! Uh, Wedge! Huh? Seventh Heaven is just down this road, isn't it? Head straight and look right! You can't miss it! Uh, Don't worry about me! All right, I'll get these people to safety! <laughs> Oh, it takes us from Get out of Sector 7, please! We need to get as far away from Sector 7 as possible right now! Go to Sector 5 or 6! Anywhere but here! So, all it takes is for just a few people to do the right thing. And it might not save everyone or everything or save the world. But it will save a few things. It will do more good than you think it can. You know? You all have to get out of Sector 7. Now! Please! Hmm? Slow down. Do you know what's going on? What do they want with a pillar? Well, there's still time. But... They're going to drop the plate on us? Yes. Those sons of bitches! But what good do they think that'll do? Feel free to cry about it later. Right now, we need to get everyone to safety. Wait, the watch should clear the roads first. Ah, good thinking. Up to it. Avalanche, I take it? Just a friend. Tell Tifa to lay low. We'll take care of things here. <laughs> she knows. I've got to get to Seventh Heaven. <sighs> so obviously this is terrible. And we just lost one of our friends, but I have a feeling that's not of hopelessness or total despair. Shinra's going to do evil and horrible and terrible things and we can't prevent them from doing them. But we can try to mitigate the damage. And I think there's a lesson there that goes outside the scope of Final Fantasy VII Remake. You know? I think that's a really powerful lesson and something that we should all take to heart. doing here get out before you get yourself killed i don't know how much people will listen but that's it what are you doing here oh god get out Look before out. you get yourself killed. get out 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 run run oh, no. run 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 Get everyone out. Marlene. Okay, the, oh no. the symbol. We need to find another way to get there. Okay, okay. God, I don't remember my way around. Okay, you see, you see. How the hell did they expect us to do this? Gotta get through. Gotta find a way. The neighborhood watch is here. I'm so glad they're here. Finally. Hold on. Go, go, go. Oh, you poor thing. I know it must hurt, but you've got to be brave now, okay? That's one of Marlene's friends. Come on, keep moving this way! Hey! Hey! Over here! Come on! I'll take you to her. Ready? <laughs> they are not going to kill Marlene. Almost there, okay? They are not. They're... <laughs> the helicopter fell out of the sky! 
They're not gonna kill a child. No need to rush. Steady. Is that why I Are you hurt? Is that why we saw her? Leave everything behind. I'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Come on, we've gotta go too. God seeing it's people running into each other. We can get through this. We just have to work together. Get to wall Almost there, now. Okay? It's too dangerous here. This way. Quickly now. Keep moving. <laughs> Can you take care of her? Of course. Betty, I've been looking everywhere for you. Daddy! <laughs> You'll be fine. Stop! That way's already... Okay, I can't get through here. Where the hell do you think you're going? Yeah, the fact that people run Wait, into each other is, is a really good detail now. Almost there. There's still No. No, it's not worth it. Confirmed. One more bird lost. Probably for the best. After all. He's gonna push the button. Change of plan. You can take it from here. Someone's been a little too adventurous. Zach would be so disapproving. Everything's on fire. Oh my god. Is this it? No, where is it? Oh, follow the map, Lauren. There's a map. There's a map. It's like right, literally right here. <sighs> Sophie wants out. Sorry, Soph. Hold on. I have to let my cat out. Do you want to go out now? Come on. Come on. Sorry, folks. That is pretty terrible. Hearing her cry like that. Marlene. Marlene? Oh, there you are. Hi. You're Marlene, right? Who, who are you? I'm a friend of Tifa's. <laughs> um, where is she? Right now, she's with Cloud and the others. Daddy, too? You mean Barrett? Yep, he's there, too. How does... Wait, Daddy's not coming home? Not yet. That's why I came to find you. Tifa asked me to. She said, take care of Marlene. Uh... The thing is, this place isn't safe now. I'm gonna take you somewhere safer, okay? Are they gonna destroy the bar? Are they gonna destroy our house? <laughs> I know it's hard. Just remember, you still have your daddy. You can build a new home together, anywhere. Shall we go? People who wrote this know children. 
a kid's not gonna have a conversation with you about this. A kid that young is just gonna cry. What? What just happened? You smell nice. Oh? Like, like a flower. That's, that's right! She gave Cloud a flower to, that he gave to Tifa. Where are we going? What are we doing? I hope you remember it. Come on. God, they animated her so well. Tell you what, we'll grow lots of flowers at your new house. Do you think that I could help too? Of course you can. Hey, what's your favorite flower? <laughs> um... <laughs> I have literally I have no idea what's gonna happen. Oh. You led us on a merry chase, Aerith. Sung. He wasn't that cold in Crisis Core. Before you say another word, know that your options are limited. You've changed. Like, he was professional, but he wasn't like that. There's nothing to be scared of, okay? Mm. How about we make a deal? Why do they want her so badly? That was a nice, very cinematic. Alright, Cloud. He's so unprofessional. Oh no, you don't. Two birds with one shitload of No, Reno. She didn't die. I wedge. I asked him to show her the way. Okay. We can still stop this, right? Yeah. Then let's keep moving. And where do you think you're going? Bring her. What this guy? Oh my God! It's Reno sassing me. Oh my God! Are you serious? Whatever, Reno. Shut up. Nobody's impressed. You look and act like a teenager. No offense to any teenagers watching this. Go away. Go away. Alright. Hold on. Sorry. We gotta check. Nope. Okay. Had to check. You know how it is. Um. 
Man, I literally don't know if we're gonna make it or not. I literally don't know if we're gonna save. But if we stop the plate from falling, at well, at this point, the people, the people in the slums are gonna be okay, mostly. Unless they're really awful and they're giving us like a, a short feeling of hope and then they do something else. <gasps> what if, what if they go to Wall Market and, and there's a revolution happening in Wall Market and they help take Wall Market? What then? What then? Huh? Huh? Because that's what this makes me think of. When the, when the guard, when that guard, um, when the, the new recruit. Oh, go away! When the new recruit decided to open the gate. Uh. When he decided to open the gate, it made me think of Don Corneo's people turning on him. And and seeing the people of the of the slums, of the Sector 7 slums, like, um come together and have a chance at surviving because of it. I want them and the people of Wall Market to come together and save Wall Market, even if we can't save everything else. Let's not get low. That's what I want. That is so satisfying. I would take that. I would take the sacrifice of characters who I love for that to happen. I won't give up. Tifa like smashing some things. Uh... Okay, these things will probably blow up too, so let's not get blown up by them. don't mind that I'm not talking to you. At least I'm not hearing what you're saying. I'm talking in your general direction, but I'm not, uh... But I feel like it's more... Well, if this is how you want to play it, that's fine by me. See, I didn't get blown up. Hold on, there's a map. What are we doing? Map? There's some ways down. Where does this go? Is this another way down? Man, you suck at hiding. I don't know why we're down here, but I, I can go down here, so I'm doing it. That that seems like good enough logic to me, right? Seems to be pretty effective on these guys. Okay. I don't know about you, but I'm over this shit. Jeez, he is shooting a lot. Oh, I see. He had a clear. This isn't where I came from, right? Maybe this is where I came from, actually. You still want some more? I don't remember, actually. Oh, go away. Nobody likes you. No, Reno. Oh, shut up. Nobody's impressed. You are less uncool than Liquid Snake, but that says more about Liquid Snake than it does about you. Oh, where does this go? What is this? I didn't come down. Did I come up this way? Man, you suck at hiding. What am I doing? Where am I going? I don't know. I have like no idea. Why are there multiple routes down here? I don't understand. What's up, guys? Oh my god. Did I come through? Oh, I came through here earlier when I was just Cloud, I think. Okay, hold How on. Do you assholes like this? Oh. Shh. Shh. Well, if this is how you want to play it, that's fine by me. How do I get there? Okay. I'm just gonna run. 
Dodge, dodge. Oh, what? I can't dodge because I'm not in combat, huh? Save us all some time and give up. Oh, shut up. Shut up. You total immature jerk face. Come on, the hell you are. Oh, shut up. I should probably heal at some point. You want some more? I'm fine. I'm fine. Move aside. Oh, I should probably heal. Oh. Okay. Using force. Are you really? You're using force, huh? Okay, hold on. Spell cure yourself. No! This guy's voice is dark. Very, very deep. I'll stop you. Will you? Items. High potion. Okay. Now where am I going? That looks like where I'm supposed to go. So let's just like quickly look where we're not supposed to go. Is there anything over here? No. Just a random encounter. Abilities. Uh, triple slash? That didn't work so well. Okay. Okay. Well, that was slightly overkill, but you know. No, jump, 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 punch, 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 punch. Punch it, punch it. Oh, very nice. Okay. Well, that didn't accomplish a lot, but I guess I got experience for it, so that's that. All right. Uh, maybe I should heal. These boxes don't have stuff in them, do they? Yeah, look at how cool I am. These boxes have stuff. I don't know about you, but I'm over. Yeah, yeah, you said that already. Maybe I shouldn't. I just feel like if I can steal stuff from Shinra, I should do that, you know? Uh... More dead guys. Avalanche tried really hard. And of course they're getting framed. Kind of makes me wonder how often what was that? people get framed the way, you know, in real life by which governments? Oh, jeez. So, how'd you guys rate my latest and greatest design? 11 out of 10. Hello. Glad to see you again. No! Jesse? Jesse! Get behind cover!
Where is she? She's not down there, is she? Where is she? Hold on. Was that her? I'm sorry. She didn't get blown up, did she? Where is she? Jesse? Sorry, Tifa. Stay sharp. You don't need to tell me twice. I'll show you. Twice? Fun's over. You're Oh, shut up! Oh, jeez, this is not good. What? 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 I'm sorry. Whatever you say, partner. Keep them busy, will ya? Did that guy just like announce his ability? Oh, what? Are you serious? Did they just send a copter guy after me? You stupid, stupid butt. That was satisfying. You think you're gonna throw a grenade? Did I just level up or something? Because I'm suddenly doing approximately a million more damage than I was doing earlier. Which, I mean, I'll take it, but also... I mean, I'm still taking damage, but also... Jeez. I gotta admit, it's super satisfying to go Sephiroth on those guys. Give me a break. You know? Stay sharp. You don't need to tell me twice. Oops. Is there another one? Oh, what? Oh my god, there's so many of you. I hate you. Hold on. Isn't that a... Uh... One of the somebody, some fighting game character says that. Don't remember which. Oh shoot! I should probably heal. <laughs> am I am I doing flips? I was doing flips. I won't give up. I'm gonna beat you up. Okay, spells. Cure yourself. Don't overdo it. Let me handle this. Come on. Bring it. Okay. Come on. Finish him off. Abilities. Star shower. Yeah, there's some sentries, but we're gonna take out these guys first. Oh, shoot, Cloud. I got this. Yes, you do. I'm not going out. No, you're not. You're absolutely not. I got you. I got you. Slash. Oh, that didn't go so well. Oh, it's because I it's because I defeated them already. <laughs> That's why I couldn't triple slash them. They were already dead. Oops. Well, you know. <laughs> Sorry, I realize this is a really extended segment for me to not be looking at chat, and hopefully that's okay. I just this is really, this is a really good game, folks. This is a really good game, and I am extremely invested in it right now. 
What do I do here? Okay, I, I guess I don't do that. What do I do then? Alright, Sifa, do you see anything? Running into the fire is probably not a good option. That's not gonna work. What do I do? Oh, oh, we're just, oh my god, are we seriously? Uh, by the way, if you had forgotten how incredibly precarious everything here is, and what a long way down that is, and who lives down there? But hey, they're having a hard time fighting up here, which makes me think that Barrett might be doing what? Jesse! It wasn't you. It wasn't you. You were framed. I had it coming. She dies thinking that she did that. My hero. So gentle. Just try to hang on. I wore mascara tonight. I don't know what I was thinking. That's being optimistic, my friends. <sighs> Cloud tries so hard to be the tough guy and good friend. He's trying to do the you'll make it, you'll make it thing. The fact that he's looking at her. Yeah, when you're close to her, he looks at her. I think I hit some buttons and turned off some stuff by accident. 
That's what I was afraid of when I didn't see her there. God, poor Tifa. You can tell Tifa and Jesse were, were friends. I mean, it's obviously it's hard to see anyone. Like, losing people is not easy. But they were... So we're feeling the cost of it already. Are, but are we going to be able to save the people? Because we, we saved some of the people down there. And that's that's really important. Like, that's the thing. Even if we don't save everyone, saving someone is worth it. Even if you don't save the world, saving a small corner of the world is worth it. It is still worth doing, even if you can't achieve 100% of what you're aiming to do. It is still worth doing. Whether that is something as small as a project you're working on or as large as saving lives like it is better to try partial credit is good you know god i really like the cast of this game have you noticed that they're good? Because they're really good characters. And Cloud is really good. And Tifa does feel like a person even if I don't know her super well. You know? Maybe because we haven't gotten to know her super well. Maybe because she doesn't want to be known super well. <laughs> Hey buddy. Hey buddy. Sorry I took all your materia. I done with you yet. You hear me? Baby, you come up in here. Do what you want. We gonna take it. Barry. Deepa. Get your ass back up. Now. Job is gonna chew you up. This dialogue sounds so natural. Like his his voice actor well, sells it. <laughs> Damn right. Leading man sticks around to the credit roll. So we gotta keep moving if we wanna make it that far. You ready? Yep. Cloud is super cool, but not in the way he thinks he's super cool. God, I love him as a character. I'm looking forward to getting a no Barrett bit better. Are you gonna do this? We're gonna do this, buddy? We're gonna do this? Rude! He totally saved Tifa back there. I mean, he was the one who was actually like um decent in the fight with Cloud. You. It's nothing personal, bitch. <laughs> Edgy McEdge face. Is he? Is he on our drama queen scale yet? And if not, why not? Oh! 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 Did you see the look on Cloud's face? Did you see that? You're next, asshole! Sorry, losers. Gotta play for keeps today. No time to dick around. No, no, don't, don't let him, don't let him, don't let him, don't let him, don't, don't, don't. Plate separation authorized. Awaiting confirmation. Plate separation authorized. Awaiting confirmation. Stop him, Cloud! Stop him! Yeah, yeah, coming right up. Yeah. No, you don't. Not when I'm working. Come on, Cloud, no, Cloud, come on. Plate separation no. authorized. Awaiting confirmation. Come on. Press it. You ain't got shit on us. Okay. Right. Careful. He's quick. Yeah. Quick in front of the way, baby. Still here. Jeez. That's it. No choice, huh? 
Oh, the helicopter's still coming after us. Oh, right. Don't walk right into his electric fence. Oh, I should have probably moved when I saw that that was happening. Jeez, okay. Keep it together. Probably should have put Barrett's materia back on him before we did the Maybe. Charge meter! His charge meter is going up! I never noticed that before. Does everybody else have a charge? Oh, everybody else has a meter too! Except for him, he doesn't have a meter. That's why I never noticed the meter. Oh, shoot! Okay. Welcome to Lauren, learning basic game mechanics in the middle of a random boss fight partway through the game! Let him do it. Don't let him stop me. We don't have the family friendly rating when we stream this game. Is he going rogue? No, he's not. What's up, guys? Special delivery. Hey, do you remember? I thought maybe he was gonna not, but okay, abilities. What the fuck? How did that not work? What do I do here? Oh, the pyramid. Oh, shoot. Oh, shut up. No! Oh, shoot. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't get hit by it. Don't get hit by it. Okay. Uh, items, mega potion. Don't give up. Items, high potion on Tifa. Barret. Okay. Uh, you don't have any magic because I took all of your magic. I'm not a responsible. I'm not responsible anything. Okay, limit break. Come on. Somersault him. Yeah. I won't. Hold on. Uh, on yourself? Still in. My turn. Deal with that. Oh, right. 
deal with that is correct. Don't you... Wait, did they kill him? Did they kill him? Is Rude dead? Are you serious? <laughs> no, okay. Oh my god. I was planning to join you anyway. <laughs> Any landing you can walk away from. He pulls out a second. Come on. Let's two step. Oh, I don't have any magic. <laughs> so good. What happens when you let it Bring it to heat! Knock it off, would ya? I got it! Bring it! No! Too slow, too slow, okay. I got it. Okay, Cloud. Uh... Uh, you... Probably need to get some magic back because you're, you're healing. No, no! Uh, items. I mean, yes. Sorry, I know that's probably a waste. Do I not have summon? Oh, I don't have magic for it. I still don't understand how basic mechanics of this game work, but at least I figured out how people's meters go up, so that's something. Shoot! Don't die, Cloud! Tifa, can you keep him alive? Oh! Oh! Oh, jeez! Oh, I forgot that he had that. That's amazing. Okay, spell. Cure Cloud so he doesn't die. Oh my god, they're doing a combo. How rude is that? Okay, hold on. Summon ability. Not throwing in the towel. Take it over. Spells cure. Tifa. No. Jeez. Got stick it out till the end. Okay, hold on. Oh my god, Tifa, don't die! Okay, hold on. I'm just gonna start the I'm not going out like this. It's on you. I got it. Oh my god. Really? I'm gonna die. I'm gonna lose this fight. I'm totally gonna lose this fight. Careful. 
Not having any magic is not a, not a good thing for us here. really quiet there but be careful won't last long love you too don't give up knock it off Blade <laughs> separation authorized awaiting confirmation are we going to stop it Oh no, don't you do no 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 Did we stop it? we stop it? Are we seriously gonna stop it? Who knows? Where are you going? Stop him, stop him, stop him, stop him! Why is it why is it doing this? Stop him, stop him, stop him, stop him, stop him. Oh no. Blade separation initiated. Blade separation initiated. Commencing separation sequence. Section 1 separation imminent. Evacuate immediately. Blade separation initiated. Section 1. You son of a bitch. What have you done? <laughs> Evacuate the area immediately. 
Why is that even an option? Why is plate separation even an option? Why is it even built that way? If we don't get the hell out of here right now, we're dead. We gotta Are you serious? Do not give me a time sequence after that. I hate you. I hate you. Sorry, I really hate time sequences so much. Are you guys ready to watch me die? Right now, there's, there has been the action movie feel. Now they're going to show us the consequences of this for everyone else. Because right now, it could feel like it's just an action movie, and, and it needs to not feel like an action movie. It, they, we need to see that it's... I guess I should probably see what else they've got. Well. <laughs> I don't think I even noticed I was in chapter 12. <sighs> he was trying to save his cats and that's why he didn't make it out, huh? Yeah, I know I recognized Kate Sith. I don't know why he's in his Kate Sith costume. Presumably so you can make a connection between that. Yeah. The fact that Wedge died there is actually really upsetting because you think he's going to be okay and you're like, at least one of my friends made it. And, and, like, the other two get their, like, they get to have their last words and their final moment, and he doesn't. Yeah. Yeah, they, they, they definitely are still leaning in, like, the, the whole thing that I was talking about with the, uh, the end of Crisis Core, where they give you hope that maybe things are going to be okay for at least, at least some small way. I thought that he was going to make it and I was like, okay, we're saving, we're saving the, the city, uh, well not the city, we're saving some of the people and one of our friends. Yeah. Yeah, I know, like, like, Wedge definitely, 
was a very good character. And it's because of him that people in the slums were able to live. Like, it is solely his doing saved lives. Um, and so, like, through and through, like, that's, that's being a hero. Oh, you can... Yeah, I just, I for, I didn't realize there was going to be a boss fight there, and I forgot that I took all of Barrett's materia. <laughs> so, Blink Spot, that's a, a moment, uh, a moment where this game is depending on a lot of people having seen the original. Because I remember that that's Kate Sith. I don't remember much else, but I actually remember Kate Sith's secret identity. Apparently, I remember three things from Final Fantasy VII, and one of them is Kate Sith's secret identity. <laughs> I don't even remember who he is, I just know the name. <laughs> um, so. So, yeah. No, the Avalanche Trio is really good, and... And you're kind of like, oh, probably are probably they're not going to make it because I know that Barrett is a main character and Tifa is a main character and I don't know the other two. Um, no, it's totally fine to not play the original game. This game needs to be able to stand on its own whether you've played the original or not. As I've said, I don't really remember the original. I remember like three things from the original. So this is, functionally speaking, this is more or less my first time through this game. Um... But, uh, yeah, well, it almost feels because of the drama of his emotion with the ridiculousness of the suit, it, that that juxtaposition doesn't work so well. I think if they had done something slightly less dramatic, I don't know. But, uh, I don't know. Maybe they thought that because it, like is tied to Wedge trying to rescue his cats, that there's like a cat connection there. But yeah. <sighs> yeah. No, President Shinra is awful. I don't remember him at all. I don't remember any of the bad guys, apparently. Except that Hojo is in Crisis Core. And I vaguely remember Hojo trying to get Aerith and Red 13 to reproduce. And I don't remember how or why, but that's all I remember about any of the bad guys in the original. And I don't remember why or how that would happen. Or even what Red 13's deal is. And I guess... So Aerith is an ancient. But, uh... Yeah. Good night, Nostarak. Thank you for joining. Um... No, it's not quite time to... It's not quite time to stop. I'm just... I'm processing a little bit. Especially because I didn't, uh, I didn't talk to you folks at all during that entire segment, but I, I knew that was going to be big. One way or another it was going to be big, and I thought maybe, I thought maybe we were going to, like, maybe it wasn't going to fall. Like, not knowing if it's going to fall or not, they, they do a lot of kind of back and forth feeling where you're like maybe I will maybe I won't yeah well I mean like it's clear that all of the Shinra higher ups hey! yes fry sauce I do remember I do remember hey! I've talked about that before um hey! Can anybody hear me? okay so we're separate so it's like Molly! Jesse! Big! Wait! Here goes. And push! Yeah, no, they definitely made it that, that Avalanche was the ones responsible. 
They framed them in their propaganda. It was us. We did this. No. You can't think like that. Whatever came before it was Shinra that pulled the trigger to death. Am I right? Barrett. Marlene's fine. Huh? Aerith found her. Aerith? Is that the girl they took? Yeah. That's her. Hmm. What the hell's going on? I asked Aerith to find Marlene and take her somewhere safe. She did. You sure? Cloud, come on. Hey, where are you going? Just like, and they could have, they could have evacuated the top. They could have said, oh no, Avalanche is threatening to do this. We don't negotiate with terrorists, but just in case, you know, that they didn't. That's Wall Market, isn't it? Okay, maybe they've overthrown Don Corneo. God, yeah, no, I will give credit. I love that they, I love the little details, the characterization of the young new recruit so that when, when Wedge goes up to talk to these two and I know who they are, they did such a good job setting up so that you know the world, you know the area, you know the people, you know the places. So, yeah. How could this happen? I didn't really think that... Yeah. What do you think about Shinra now, huh? What the hell is going on? What do we do now? What you were hired to do. Get these people out of here. <laughs> That's what you were hired to do. Protect these people, right? Right? 
Right. So you know, things could have been a lot worse if you hadn't done what you did. Sometimes you can't let yourself be bound by orders. I've made up my mind. I'm not gonna do this job for Shinra anymore. I'm an officer of the people now. They want you to have a couple of little moments. That's a little moment because right now we need any sort of win we can get emotionally. That's a good moment. I wouldn't count on it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I guess. I guess I should put Barrett is pretty cool looking. I'm glad he had the auto cure materia. That was helpful. Uh maybe he can take Aerith's. Sorry, but you're a little I could probably stand to use some more of these. Yeah, no, the voice acting in this game is just consistently really, really good. What else do I want to put on you? When is help going to arrive? What the hell's going on? Tell me this isn't happening. I've got a friend in Sector 7. Those people in the slums are actually better off than the people in the city because they had a chance to run. Yeah, they're not. This happened before when the city was being built. A nightmare just like this. Johnny? Yeah, this happened before when the city was being built. Where was Johnny? Don't tell me. It was Avalanche. Where was Johnny? Think I don't want to help? I didn't see Johnny. I work for the people now, not the corporation. No. Oh man. Well, I'm glad to know that 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 young officer is going to do something good with his life. Sorry, I forgot to charge my controller. Maybe us humans weren't meant to build such big buildings, you know? The next plate will be much sturdier, you'll see. Shinra will make sure of it. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. 
I'm not the only one who knocks things over. <laughs> So the, the magnitude. I said, where you going? Aerith's house. It's in the Sector 5 slums. And that's where Marlene is? Where we hope she is. Tell me she is. Give me something to hang on to. Even if she's not, I won't blame you for it, I swear. Who am I kidding? I'd probably try to tear your head off. Goodness. Hey Tifa, know anything about ancients? Now I know I've not heard of them at least. Cloud. They come up in planetology books. Planetology. Meant to be the original stewards of the planet. Okay, here we go. Could even commune with it, talk to it and stuff. Oh. That must be why the Turks wanted her so badly. Flows the blood of ancients. This planet is my birthright. I don't remember. <gasps> you have failed again, I see. Cloud's voice actor is doing very well here. But through suffering, you will grow strong. Isn't that what you want? Cloud? Hmm. It's nothing. Let's go. Like, they managed to make him sound terrified. So, as I've mentioned... Yeah, no, his his whimpering. Like, 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 he was... He sounded terrified. His voice actor really sold it. It was really good. Um, as I think I might have mentioned last stream, or maybe the stream before. Um, and please don't... Please don't tell me if I'm wrong. I was very impressed that you all managed to keep it secret that they did, in fact drop the plate apparently um but uh I'm, so I'm trying to remember what the deal is with Sephiroth and Crisis Core because that's what I have to go off of and like I don't remember like I vaguely remember fighting him as Cloud and not as Zack I think towards the end so <laughs> that's funny blade tiger <laughs> I'm glad to know I'm glad to know that spoiler chat in the discord had a lot of fun with that um yes spoiler chat is where these conversations happen by the way if you're joining us for the first time and you're not part of our discord um as long as you can behave yourself and be nice to people you're welcome to join us in our discord and we have a special chat room a special channel in the discord specifically for everyone to talk about spoilers that i don't want to see so it's a nice uh a nice like safe like isolation chamber for all of your spoilers so that i can continue here and have uh have all of my dumb theories so here's my dumbest theory do you want to hear my dumbest theory that i think has no real no real like basis i don't think okay so my dumbest theory and this is built off of not really remembering crisis core but i have this vague impression that we fought I, okay, so what I remember in Crisis Core about Sephiroth, I mean, so he's he's Angel's older brother, or uh, Angel's friend, and Zack is, Zack's, like, functionally speaking, the younger brother of that, that group, 
the the uh, upperclassmen in the fencing club in my really stupid high school AU that you will be <laughs> you will be finding more about later once I've written some of it and figured it out. But so remember, I remember that Sephiroth was kind of too cool for you. Um, but then once things start happening with Angeal, Sephiroth comes and gets Zack and is like, okay, I know you're my, I know you're his obnoxious little brother, but actually you and I are going to go get to the bottom of this and we're going to help Angeal. Um, which is cool. I'd never, I, I, I didn't think I liked Sephiroth. Like I said, I don't really remember the first game, but I don't, I, I didn't really like anyone. So I didn't like Sephiroth, but I liked Sephiroth in Crisis Core. Because he's kind of your friend, because he's your older brother's kind of jerkish friend. Um, but he put, you put, he puts aside his jerkishness because obviously you both care about Angeal. Um, and I know that they discovered that there had been science experiments and that they were all like, I think their moms had all been like impregnated with like special magical experiments, probably Hojo's fault. Um, and so they all go crazy and they have like a limited lifespan. Um, and they go crazy. Um, and I know that Sephiroth is in the basement of that creepy house. And he finds all these books. And there were some scenes that were animating, or that they, that they did, where they showed him pacing back and forth, reading the books and clearly, like, losing his mind. And, and I think when he was talking about, I have the blood of ancients or whatever, like... So we're, uh, my memory is about as good as clouds, apparently. <laughs> Um, but I remember that there was this horrible discovery and for some reason I thought they were aliens. So it's possible that there's aliens too. Um, because apparently Aerith is not an alien. She's an elf, um, which is fine. Like the ancient, the ancient, like commune with an age, like elves, elves, they're elves. She's an elf, not an alien. Um, so maybe Sephiroth is both alien and elf because I swear to God, somebody comes from outer space in this. Um, but so science experiment happens and they were all born and Sephiroth goes crazy and is like, I'm going to kill lots of things. And I don't remember if he turns on Shinra and you're still working for Shinra at that point. But I seem to recall fighting him in a Mako reactor and Cloud stabbing him with a, with a sword. I think. Oh man, I, I remember hating Sid more than anyone in the game. Um, because he's just a horrible person. Um, we'll see. Um, but, uh... No, I'm trying to, uh... I'm trying to remember all of the details. Um, but I remember I remember Sephiroth kind of going nuts and he gets stabbed. I swear to God, he gets stabbed in the chest and falls down. And so I don't remember this very well. I don't know, Axel, because I'm at this point, I'm afraid of correcting me about Crisis Core things might make me remember things from Final Fantasy VII. So we're just... We're just rolling with it. <coughs> Um, but, uh, so, based on my very shaky memories, I have a general sense that Sephiroth was killed in Crisis Core. So, here's my theory. I think Sephiroth is dead and entirely in Cloud's head. Because I don't actually remember anything about Sephiroth in the original, except he like walks away from fire, but that literally happens in Crisis Core. That literally happens, he sets the village on fire, and then you go and fight him, and Zat gets his butt kicked, and Cloud stabs him with the sword. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure Sephiroth is dead. <laughs> And so I'm pretty sure that Cloud is hallucinating Sephiroth. And I assume, I assume, I know, Gunty, but I know. But this is, at the very least, this is how you know that it is genuine. Because people were like, surely she actually remembers the plate falling. I did not remember the plate falling. I just had this horrifying epiphany that they had set the stage for the plate falling.
Like, they set it up so well. I don't think I remembered that. <coughs> but yeah, so at this point, I'm pretty sure that as far as we know, Sephiroth is dead. Um, so I'm trying to figure out why Cloud would be hallucinating about Sephiroth in particular. Um, but, no, but like, so Sephiroth's not an alien. Sephiroth is a human baby that had science experiment, or he was a fetus that was science experiment and then implanted. Um, but I'm pretty sure, because I'm like, like all sorts of bad stuff happens to Cloud at the end of Crisis Core. Why is it Sephiroth that he latches onto as being his big bad? Because he doesn't have any of the context of Sephiroth being Angel's friend, because he wasn't there for that. By the time Cloud meets Zack, Angel is out of the picture, and Zack is already in spiky or hair mode. Um, because like there's like spiky and then spikier. See, that's the Zack's hair level of spikiness. How we know how far we are in that game. Um. Uh. But I know it's, um, it's Cloud's hometown. It's Cloud's hometown that Sephiroth burns down. Because we're hanging out in, uh, what is their hometown called? And Tifa's running around in her stupid little cowgirl outfit. And Cloud keeps his helmet on because he doesn't want anyone to know that he is Cloud Nibelheim, or however you say that. I don't know. I don't remember. Yes, that's it. Because they're there for some reason. That, I think, is where the house for the science experiment was. Um, but they're, like, hanging out there. Nibelheim. Okay, Nibelheim. Um, and then something happens. Oh, I need to remember this, and I don't... But Sephiroth burns the village, the town down. But then there's a part where we're trying to get away and everyone's trying to shoot us. Is that the same village? Oh, shoot. Anyway. I'm sorry my memory is so bad. You know, Moth Dude, I've actually done that in a few, in a few places. Um, but I, I could. I could I could have Lore Inception Crisis Core variety but it's kind of fun not remembering <laughs> i might go back and look at that and see but i'm pretty sure as far as we know sephiroth is dead not as dead as zach because zach had an entire army unloaded at him i'm sorry axel i'm sorry well we'll see if anything comes to me between now and next week um but i'm, I'm still convinced sephiroth is dead and that nothing in this game so far has indicated otherwise. Cloud would be haunted by him if Cloud killed him. Okay. Well, there you go. There's my stupid theory. Anyway, back to the gravity of the situation here. Hi, friend. Hey, pretty crazy, huh? Can you believe this mess? You doing all right? I am, but I can't say the same about my birds. Poor things are scared half to Okay. Now. If they have overthrown Don Corneo, that will be exactly the amount of victory that I require at this point. <sighs> Gotta calm them down somehow. Times like these, people are gonna need our help. Gotta calm them down somehow. Like someone popped the lid off our world. I feel a little more for the yeah. folks who lived under their world. It's terrible for everyone. Yeah. It's like there's a hole in the sky. But if every plate has the same design, then if it happened to one. So other plates could just come down at any moment? What happened to Sector 7 was no accident. Someone dropped that plate on purpose. Hey, buddy. Parts ain't running right now. Who could have seen this coming? It's all so tragic. Chocobos are so frightened, they're refusing to move. 
Yeah, okay, so Sephiroth is dead, and Cloud kills him, and Cloud knows he's dead. So he's dead, and Cloud is hallucinating him. It's not even a crazy theory, it's canonical. Ahem. <clears throat> For some definition of canonical, anyway. No, too soon. Sorry, I'm just like trying to. We shouldn't just sit around here talking about. We can That's the spirit. Wait. Over there. There's guards. What the hell are they? Why are there guards here? in their jobs probably? No, but why are just focus on seeing Marlene again. Nothing else. I thought that the whole point was that the cops don't come to Wall Market. For what? Yeah, can you just imagine? Yeah. What is with all these soldiers and suits? Warning? Why warning? Found them? We're searching the compound as we speak, sir. Oh, that's why warning. Anything? Nothing as of yet, sir. Okay. What's going on? They may have escaped. What? Glad you said yes. They? Who's they? Are you ready for Lauren gets lost? Oh shoot. Okay. Found him? We're searching the compound as we speak, sir. You still have The compound? Found him? Thank you. We're searching the compound as we the speak. The compound. Sir. Don Corneo's compound. Huh? Wait. Hold on. The first thing we need to do is find a place to take refuge. Sorry. That's the spirit. <sighs> All right, Madam M. What's going on? Well, this is a fine mess. How bad is it here? Compared to Sector 7, we're doing fine, but that's hardly an accomplishment. Yeah. However, did it come to this? What's going on here? I don't like not knowing what's going on. Yeah, no, I imagine not. Is it true that Sector 7's pretty much destroyed? Well, it doesn't look like, uh... It doesn't look like, uh... Isn't this the way where the old avalanche propaganda wall was? You guys run into Jesse at the door. Yeah. Yeah. Biggs too. They were both in pretty bad shape. But Let Wedge wasn't through, up there with them. Through, he got out. All right. It's way too dangerous in there. You'll get yourself killed. Let's go home for the night. We'll try again tomorrow, okay? <sighs> So they think Wedge is okay. They don't realize that he went back out there to get his cats. What is this doing here? Come on now. So we need to be afraid. We're all scared. Come on now. So we need to be afraid. Where is this? Where am I? What's going on? Oh, I might as well get some treasure. Not really feeling very treasure huntery, but 
doesn't hurt to get stuff like that. Where are we? What is this? Looping around? Looping around. Right? Yeah, this is the way we're supposed to go. Okay. <sighs> Come on now. There's no need to be afraid. I've been thinking, y'all. We gotta go find the others. They're not there. Huh? Barrett. If we don't look for them, who will? Barrett. Right. Hey, Cloud. Gonna need your help with it, too. Everyone's in right. shock. I mean, you know there's no way they survived. They died in front of you. They died in your arms, Cloud. But I guess they don't want to tell Barrett because a, a man can only take so much grief, you know? They're like, don't go that way, Lauren. I mean, maybe he's looking for their bodies. I don't know, but... Hey, folks, what's going on down here? Yeah. Yeah. Oof. My ears are still ringing from it. Yeah. This wasn't an accident, was it? Probably not. Not another bombing. Yeah. This is Sector 5, right? So where's this place you said Marlene is? Where I think she is. It's a house on the other side of town. Well, come on in. Pick up the pace. I'm glad that I'm going as fast as you Cloud are. is being really careful to make it clear that he doesn't know for sure. Oh, Sam's delivery service. That's what that that Chocobo cart was doing. Huh. Oh jeez. Wow. <laughs> Mid cars in mourning, yes, but is Shinra? No. City officials are currently restricting access to emergency responders. I can't even responders. imagine how it looks over there. I'm urging people in neighboring sectors Just thinking to remain of all the lives until lost. further notice. Well, that might also, be for the best. Shinra has announced the establishment of an emergency response team. I can't even imagine how it looks over there. To the cause of the plate collapse and to determine if Just any other sectors are currently lost. Just thinking of all the lives lost. Oh my god. Homeland Security, folks. Just thinking of all the lives lost. I can't be the only one thinking it, you know. Don't we think that... I really... I really love... I love that this was the last thing Biggs thought of. You know? But I'm glad it looks like the kids are okay. I... Yeah, I'm sorry, kiddos. <sighs> so she is talking to the plants. Because <sighs> she's an elf. That's the house. It's her mom. Marlene! Marlene! Barrett. I'm sure this is going to go over really well with Aerith's mom. Because they know she's here and she stays in her house and they don't want her to leave. Alright, folks. Well, it's after 10 o'clock. So I don't know if... Uh, I don't know if this is a stopping point or if we should do a stopping point inside slash after the house. Thoughts? Okay, after the house. All right, let's do it. 
Is Marlene actually gonna be here? Where's Marlene? Is she here? Barrett. <sighs> Sorry, I'm Barrett. Marlene's my little girl. Uh, uh, Marlene, she's got short hair. She's cute as a button, but with the heart of an she's angel. She's so cute. She was wearing. And he talks about his uh, daughter. Pink. She was wearing a she's pink dress today. She's sleeping upstairs. Huh? Oh. I said she's sleeping. Uh. I'm pretty sure it's okay to wake her up for this. I want to see her too. Come on, let's go look in on her. Keep it down. Don't wake her. Why not? Her daddy's home. I think she'd want to be woken up for her daddy being home. Maybe you should join your friend upstairs. Keep it down. Don't wake her. Are they going to capture us through this? Because they have to know that we're going to come for her. Marlene, my baby. Thank God. <sighs> Shinra has my daughter now. I'm sorry. No, I'm the one who asked her to go get Marlene. We'd only just met, but she was so kind and helpful. I took advantage of her. It's not your fault. It was only a matter of time before she ended up back there. Back there? Hold on. Mako Science? Because she's an ancient. Is that it? So she told you about that? No. She must trust you all a great deal. Yes, Aerith is an ancient. Probably the last one living. She's not my daughter. Okay, I wondered about that. Not by blood, I mean. If that's what you were wondering. Okay. About 15 years ago. My husband, he'd been shipped off to fight on the front lines. Can Swutai? But then I received a letter saying he'd be home for a bit. So when the day came, I went to the station to meet him. But he didn't come. I couldn't help fearing the worst, even then. But I told myself his leave must have been postponed, that he'd been delayed. Every day I went to wait and to pray. She's got the same bangs that Aerith does. That's really sweet. Little details like that. And that's how I met her. Her and her mother. I thought maybe they'd run away from Wall Market. Or that they were topsiders, fallen on hard times. I'd seen that sort of thing a lot. Take Aerith somewhere safe. Those were her mother's dying words. My husband had been away for so long, and I was lonely. So I convinced myself the safest place for the girl was with me. It took no time at all for her oh. to start feeling like family. <laughs> she was a real chatterbox. She told me strange stories. Like how she and her mother had escaped from some sort of facility. And how she wasn't sad because her mother had just returned to their planet. Their planet, huh? 
Yeah, that sounds about right. I didn't understand any of it at the time. When I asked if she meant one in the sky, she said no. This one, right here. I mean, what can you say to that? Mommy, don't be sad. That's what she said to me one day, out of the blue. So I asked her, what's wrong? A man you really, really loved just died. His heart came a long way to say goodbye. But he couldn't stay because he had to return to the planet. I didn't believe her, of course. And then, a few days later, I received a letter saying my husband had been killed in action. Things like that, she'd just know. It was a lot to deal with, but we were happy. <laughs> and then came the knock. Coming! <laughs> no! Go away! Aaron. Hmm. You know, you're not just any little girl. You're a descendant of the ancients. I had no idea what he meant, so I said, who are the ancients? They were the original stewards of the planet, whose boundless knowledge and wisdom shall guide us to the promised land. This isn't a good thing. <laughs> Some believe the promised land to be a myth, others an allegory of sorts. But we take the words of the scriptures at face value and believe it to be quite real. Which is why Shinra would like very much for Aerith to help You're us- You're wrong! I'm not an ancient! But Aerith, even when you're all alone, don't you hear voices whispering secrets? No, never! <clears throat> but all three of us knew that wasn't true. That man knew exactly who Aerith was, where she'd come from, and what she could do. They knew where she was, but they didn't just take her? Doesn't sound like the Turks I know. She had to come willingly, otherwise it wouldn't work, they said. That's why, even if they did take her away, I'm sure she's still being treated like a guest. And that they'll send her straight back home. Once they get what they need. That's not true, it. and you know it. You're not planning anything, are you? Don't make things worse than they already are. If I lost her, too, I don't know if I could... If I could ever... Just don't. Cloud, maybe she's right about this. Maybe they'll let Aerith go when it's all over. Maybe we'd be better off waiting a little while. Let's head back to Sector 7. Got things to take care of. Like checking up on the bar. Yeah. Okay. That is an interesting detail. What do they need her to go willingly to? Yeah, the, the storytelling in that scene, the framing of it, the way that she is telling the story. And so she narrates and then narrates her own dialogue. But the other two speak or the other characters speak. Um, it's really, really, really good. Really, 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 really good. Really, really good. Uh, and yes, the music was wonderful. And when Sung came in, 
and like the music got like just like a little bit creepy and minor key there it's a good detail yeah yeah no the voice acting in this game is just it's so good like they really bring the characters to life in a way that I feel that the writing in this game deserves yeah no that scene felt like something out of a movie in a good way in a very good way um and it's kind of all like piecing together. Yeah, well, no, no Sing is not the real bad guy, but I'm I'm really interested in because I don't know if they're retconning things where he's a bit a bit different, um, or if uh, if this is meant to kind of drive home what a breach of character it is in Crisis Core when he disobeys direct orders. Um, but in Crisis Core, like I said, I never got the impression that he was, um, like, I, I always got the impression that he was, like, professional and reserved, but not this. Like, there's a certain kind of almost sadism and cruelty to him as we see him in this game. And he seems to have that when he first came to talk to Aerith, um, as a child, too. Um... And so, I don't know, I don't know exactly how that fits in with my understanding of him from Crisis Core. And, you know, like, I would say, oh, well, obviously in Crisis Core we're seeing things through Zack's perspective. Um, but I don't think that that's entirely the case. Like, I think we see Zack's perspective, but we can also see what's going on that Zack isn't seeing. Um, oh. Hmm. Yeah, like, like, and it may very well be that, that he had one chance where he started caring and it didn't work. And so he just realized, realized, like, there's no point in even trying. There's no point in, there's no point in getting attached. Just do your job. Learned his lesson there, trying to, trying to have feelings. Um, I think that's, I think that's interesting. Um, and I'm, of course, very invested in that because, uh. Like I said, that was one of my favorite moments in Crisis Core. I just, I thought it was so powerful. Good night, Blade Tiger. <coughs> um, so, I think we are going to call it here for the night. We went over by about 20 minutes. Um, yeah, well, it's, and it's not ruining his character, but it, it, it feels at odds with what I know of him. And so I'm, I'm curious if that's going to be reconciled or not. Um, but if you want to talk about ruining characters, stay tuned for the Squats King of Shinra High. <laughs> yes, I will share progress on my stupid sports anime high school AU fanfic for this game in Crisis Core. So look forward to that. Um, it'll be a little tonal shift from this. Thank you all so, so much for joining. I'm going to try to do a birthday stream. I won't probably won't be able to tomorrow because I'll probably have to do work tomorrow. Um, but I will be back. I will try to do a birthday stream on Saturday. If you'll forgive me for being a day off. Um, I, uh, I will be back next Thursday. So... Uh, we will be finishing Suicode in One next Tuesday, and we will continue playing this on Thursday. So um, thank you all so much. Take care again. If you want to join our Discord, we have a Discord. Um, if you want the spoiler channel, that is where you can yell about my, my theories. <laughs> well, good luck, everybody. Take care, and I will hopefully see you next week. Maybe this weekend for my birthday. I don't know what we're going to do. Bye.